They say money makes the world go round, and in Last Oasis, the only currency you need to know about is floats. Hello Nomads, it's Kodiak here, back for another quick Last Oasis video, and today we'll be talking about the absolute best way to turn a profit and make some quick floats in the game. Now before we get started, I want to be clear, the market in Last Oasis is a hot mess right now. It's a rudimentary system that needs a lot of work. The trade market is currently flooded with garbage thanks to hackers and dupers, and that's causing problems for the average Joes like myself. Luckily, there is still a way for you to make money, and once the Oasis start burning up, things will hopefully level out. Now to be honest, there is no magical solution here. It requires a little bit of research, some farming, and a little bit of know-how. First, you'll need to start by unlocking the hose. This is locked behind a tablet cost, but over time, reaching the required number shouldn't be challenging, even for solo players. Once you research the hose, you'll want to make sure you have a ship in order that can handle some weight. For this, we use a quality toboggan. You don't need to go nuts with a quality walker to accomplish your goals here, just something that can handle a bit of heft. You'll also want to bring along a couple of desert mule potions. These will allow you to expand your inventory carry weight, which is incredibly important for this project. Finally, you'll need a pickaxe. The higher quality, the better. If you didn't know already, quality tools gather more of a particular resource even at quality zero. Once you build your quality tool, you can use a non-quality tool of the same type to repair it. Once you have the hose researched, built, and loaded up with water, your walker all set, and a stack of desert mule potions and pickaxes, it's time to head out. Head to the center of a hard map and look for the pools of magma. If you have a buddy or two, this process will go much smoother. Plop down a chest right at the edge of the magma and head up to the hose. Spray the magma and it will turn to obsidian. This is what you've been looking for and your ticket to a massive amount of floats. Harvest as much as you can, just keep an eye on the weight. Obsidian is one of the heaviest resources in the game, and if you load too much onto your walker, you won't be able to move. Once you're happy with your farming, it's time to head to the world map. Look at the trading post for each tile to determine where you'll get the best price. Because this trick isn't a secret anymore, prices have fluctuated, but you can still find a trading post that will buy obsidian for a ridiculously high price. After about an hour of farming, we converted 1,000 obsidian into 250,000 floats. This is still by far one of the best, most legit ways to make floats in the game, and although floats are relatively meaningless at this point, it's never a bad idea to start building that nest egg now. This process goes much faster with friends. Between myself and my buddies Caius and Golden Monkey, we were able to continuously farm for over an hour. If you can, convince a few friends to come along, as it will only help to speed up the process. We hope this video set you on the right path to making tons of floats, and if you do want more Last Oasis videos in your feed, don't forget to subscribe. Also, Legion Gaming's Last Oasis community on Discord is getting close to 500 members, so if you'd like to join us as we prepare for a PvE-focused private server with a number of planned PvP events, feel free to click that link below and join us. We also recently launched our brand new Patreon page, so if you have a few bucks and want to support Legion Gaming, feel free to check that out. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legion Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.